on behalf of the David Oluwale Memorial Association, we are truly and infinitely grateful. Yeah. But for every dark time, light comes. How many of you know that whenever we sleep at night, there's always a morning? Yeah. And this is our morning. Yes. So, we're not going to um, dwell on the darkness. We're not going to dwell on the sadness. But we would dwell on the positive. Positives that has come out from this story. And for me, is to show that Leeds is genuinely a city of compassion and a city of kindness. And Leeds has no place for hate. It is much easier to love than to hate, just as it's much easier to smile than to frown. So my name is Councillor Jonathan Pryor. I'm the Deputy Leader of Leeds City Council. Uh, and it, and it, there's a real mixed emotion in welcoming you all here today. Um, it's fantastic to see so many of you here coming out in, in quite miserable weather, but for something so important. Um, we're of course here for a second time to unveil the blue plaque for David Oluwale. Blue plaques around the city are there to commemorate usually people who've achieved great things, who've, who've done things of note for the city. But it's so important as a city that we remember some of our darker periods as well. So this blue plaque acknowledging David's history and telling his story is so important. And it's mixed emotions for a few reasons. As, as you know, the first plaque was stolen, um, then temporary plaques went up that were taken down, uh, and it was said so often that people can tear down a plaque, but they can't destroy the message. And that's why we're back here today to ensure that the plaque stays here permanently. Um, so huge thanks to the Civic Trust, um, who have stuck it on, bolted it on, put a tracker inside, surrounded by it with cement, and we have a CCTV camera looking at it. Um, so this plaque is here to stay. I met one of David's killers 50 years ago. Ex-cop, ex-con, security man, drunken bully. We scorned for his soft time, then softer job. The cloth local cops call their uniform, but also meaning the vocation. It's really a note of thank you, and a note of love, and a note of kindness, um, and a note of patience, uh, as we've prepared to reinstall David Oluwale's pack. We are eternally grateful and humbled by the, the strength and the solidarity, and the, the, the coming together that everybody uh, in Leeds has shown our strength together as people of Leeds really has made this a people's plan um, and we're so proud um, that out of the darkness of the theft uh, so many of you rallied around donated your hard-earned money uh, none of us have much to spare at the moment um, and that has funded the reinstallation um, and this this in itself shows us for the city that we are a city of compassion a city of hope um, and a city that is increasingly ready to be honest with its past now in the spirit of this being a, a people's plaque uh, nobody wants uh, a trustee to unveil anything <laughs> um, so i'd really like to invite an audience member uh, up to come and do the unveiling so i'm going to look around Ah, delightful to have you all here today um, and to give you a warm welcome to the Tetley. It's always really 
uh, enjoyable and a really proud moment for us to work with the David Olawali Memorial Association as a long-standing partner, ally and friend. So our final thanks from the Tetley to DOMA, Leeds Civic Trust, the Inca Shonabara Studio, Leeds 2023 and Leeds City Council and may the celebrations of part two continue. find peace, hope, opportunity, but of course David did not find those things. Uh, David found an inhospitable city uh, that was not kind and that his mental health, his, um, you know, even his living standards were affected by uh, the cruelty of some people here in Leeds and we know that um, Leeds police as they were then, West Yorkshire police as there are now, um, were a major part of why David um, had uh, the unhappy times that he had here in this city. Uh, but we also need to remember that West Yorkshire Police today and Leeds Police then are not the same entities. And in fact, when we were all here in April, I was really delighted that Carl Galvin was able to come and speak um, on behalf of his father because it was his father who was the whistleblower. It meant that the, the two officers who hounded David Alawali uh, eventually um, were um, up in court and some justice was given to David. Not enough, but some justice because of Carl Galvin's dad. Uh, Her silent wake. The stillness is eerie, cloudy like stagnant water. John crows pick her flesh, the blood white with sorrow, tiny exhalations, in, out, the only sign of life. She's a black statue in a whitewashed wooden chair, a dilapidated board house sitting still till dusk spreads her silk petticoat across the sagging sky and bats swarm into the evening's canvas. Her boy Pickney Herbert, dead. Where does the river run to, my children ask? Out of winter sunshine, we stand under dark arches, in echoing shadow, in chills of stone and subterranean waters, in rumbles of overhead trains, above heaving river rush. Where does the river run to? Hanging question, peering over railings, faces pale, small, absorbed by the thundering air that consumed Oluwali. Forged from the dusty, bustling streets of Lagos, Nigeria. Oluwale, an icon, a victim, yet a hero. Risked his life for a new one, a fresh start, a better chance in life. Many suns have risen since we last spoke to each other. I miss you. I miss you like the soil misses the rains and the sun misses the companionship of father's crops, Iyami. So blown, the truth is known. Aloali, whistles blown, the truth is known. Aloali, I lost my wealth, my health and my home accused of dirtying white streets with black feet. All this trouble affected me mentally. 
losing myself more and more. Every day I'm looking over my shoulder and a couple of police saw me as a problem. Carrying the black man's burden, tripping on Darwinian ties, fascist fists downward spiraling his own mind's twists, then filthy push into the river air. So it's been an amazing event and a huge thank you to everybody who's contributed to the David Olawali Choir, to our dancers, to our poets, and to our bands. So let's just hear a big round of applause to all the artists who have made this event possible. <laughs> On behalf of DOMA, um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Tetley because this is a free event and um, because of uh, the generous support of the Tetley and also to all the people who donated to the crowdfunder to enable us to get that plaque on the bridge a second time. So it's a second round of donations. So a huge thank you to everyone and a big up to everyone who donated and supported us.